I was asked to show how to install these newer snout seals. Uh, I guess I wasn't very visible on my uh, other videos when I was rebuilding the superchargers and whatnot. Um, so I mentioned uh, putting a socket down inside of it to stretch open that inner seal so you can get it over the, the shaft easier because if you don't it'll just curl it you know right back in it and pretty much ruin the seal. So uh, I'll try to do this and hold the camera the best I can. Show you guys what's what's going on here. About like that. Okay. So your seal is started. All right. So the idea is you have to get this thing down in there as equal as you can without messing anything up. All right, so what some do is they take a socket, a deep socket, that's no wider than the edge of that. So this one's too big. I believe a uh, 3 eighths will work. Yep. So what some people do is they'll run a socket all the way around it. Just tap, 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 tap. All right, so let me show you what I do. Okay. And my drawer full of goodies here. These are all wrist pins from Detroit Engines. I'll give you some examples here. How big these things are. This is a piston out of a, a GTP. That's the wrist pin right there. That's the wrist pin out of a diesel engine. I got many different sizes. Some big, like that guy. They go all the way down to some smaller guys. Most of them are the same. The one I'm after is this guy here. Fits perfect. Right over the snout. And it's the same diameter as the seal. So I'll try to show you how to drive that in there. Best I can. Not dropping this camera. Get a mallet, line her up. And there is your seal installed. Pretty much go until it stops. So you can see that that fits down in that snout just perfect. These are kind of hard to come by. Whenever they rebuild an engine, sometimes there's a core charge on them, sometimes they're not. I save them for reasons like this, among other things. You can use them for virtually anything with the Arbor Press. They make great, great drivers. And all that's left is your keeper or your retainer. That just pushes right down in there. It's easier going in than it is coming out. And that is how you install a snout seal. Good to go. So now it's all left to do is attach them with some sealer. And what I use is some uh, gasket maker. It's uh, It'll seal, it'll cure in the absence of air. So there won't be any air on the mating surface but what oozes out will never dry. I mean, you can wipe that thing a year later and it'll still be gooey, but inside here, it'll harden, it'll seal nice and good. And on a Gen 5 uh, supercharger, none of the bolts get Loctited, except for the two bottom ones. Reason being, for whatever reason, it, it, they'll leak. It'll start seeping uh, supercharger oil out because this is a wet wet bath in here for those gears so you got to seal those two bottom ones on a gen 3 you don't have to seal any of the threaded bolts whatsoever but just these two bottom center ones on a gen 5 and that's it hope it helps